Richard Owen, the greatest scientist you've never heard of. He founded the Natural History Museum, named the dinosaurs, and taught Queen Victoria's children. Owen was noted for his strong opposition to the views of Charles Darwin. Owen agreed with Darwin that evolution occurred, but thought it was more complex than outlined in Darwin's On the Origin of Species. By refusing to accept Darwin's theory of evolution by means of natural selection, Owen was traditionally portrayed as the bad boy of the 19th century biology, but his villainous reputation is, to some extent, undeserved. He was a British anatomist and paleontologist who is remembered for his contributions to the study of fossil animals, especially dinosaurs. He was the first to recognize them as different from today's reptiles. In 1842, he classified them in a group he called Dinosauria. Dinosauria. The word dinosaur, of course, has its root in Greek for terrible lizard, but Dr. Williams, a fossil researcher at the Natural History Museum, said Owen would have meant the word terrible to be understood as awesome or fearfully great. Dinosaur fossils have been the subject of mystery, superstition, and scholarly wonder for millennia. Young Owen recognized that their remains shared a number of distinctive features. In 1863, Owen reported on the first specimen of an unusual Jurassic fossil from Germany, the famous bird that I don't know how to pronounce. This was perhaps Owen's most famous act that resulted from his examination in reptile-like fossils bones that were being found in southern England by naturalists. Owen was described as extremely driven. As well as his academic research, he was motivated by the desire to share the latest specimens and theories with the public, hence his work establishing the museum. He wanted people to be able to see and to study for themselves. Owen was an astute politician and soon came to be admired by the key figures in British natural history, which at the time was primarily an angelic and clique. His reputation spread to such an extent that Prince Albert eventually asked him to tutor the royal children. The prince also suggested Owen to be put in charge of designing the dinosaur exhibits for the Great Exhibition of 1851. In his early career, Owen certainly did not believe in the transmutation of species. He was a covering functionalist through and through, believing that each species had been uniquely designed and created by God, perfectly adapted for its lifestyle. Such a philosophy was almost essential in terms of gaining the support of the angelic and scientific establishment. By the mid-1840s, however, Owen's views had changed, primarily as the result of his work on the comparative anatomy of vertebrates. He believed that all vertebrates were based on the same basic blueprint or archetype. All species were built upon this archetype, each one being a unique extension of it, an extension which came about through various vaguely defined second laws for which read one or more forms of divinely influenced evolution. In devising this explanation of vertebrae anatomy, Owen effectively merged the opposing viewpoints of Cuvier, whereas Owen saw his archetype as a lowest common denominator of vertebrates, Darwin later saw it simply as a common ancestor. The guerrilla warfare, Owen had studied the comparative anatomy of apes and humans. At first, he emphasized the differences between us in 1844. By 1857, however, he had begun to acknowledge the similarities between human and apes. As quoted, I cannot shut my eyes to the significance of that all-pervading stimulative of structure, every tooth, every bone, strictly homologous, which makes the determination of the difference between humans and orangutans the anatomist difficulty. Fun facts about Richard Owen? Well, I couldn't find much, but one thing I found interesting, that he initially considered a career as a surgeon. I hope you're all having a terrible time transitioning into online distant learning. Stay healthy. This bird, Archipteryx ligophaga, ligophaga, is a British antonomist and paleontologist. The famous bird, Archipteryx ligophaga.